Good morning, all of you, and uh, we'll resume now the uh, last part of uh, pipes. That is, is uh, pipe fittings, or you can simply call it as pipe appurtenances. And uh, we'll be discussing in detail with control walls. Okay, so these are the different classification of control walls, or uh, the predominantly they may use these type of valves in the water supply systems: sluice and gate walls, check valve, the globe walls, angle walls, uh, ball valves flush and air wells, scour and blow off walls, flow dividing wells and uh, maximum demand controls. Okay, so please remember at least for uh, your understanding. And uh, so look into the diagram by seeing that you are in a position to say uh, what type of control wall it is. So that is enough for the examination point of view. Examination is somewhat difficult because in a market or if you are asking or if you are hearing something like related to these walls, you are in a position to recollect. So that is the objective of uh, this lecture, not for uh, technical, uh, so much technical width. Okay, yeah. So gate walls would have seen anything on if you want to regulate flow, and uh, normally they may use gate walls or sluice walls. Okay, so gate wall or sluice walls, as it is sometimes known as a simply called valve that opens by lifting a round or rectangular gate or wedge out of the path of the fluid. Okay, so it's very simple. Okay, this is. You have a pipe and uh, you have some uh, valves you can you can fit it here something like this okay if you want to open it lift okay this valve out, uh, up okay so or you may have some sort of a dimensions in, in uh, something like this also based on your requirement you can also regulate these conditions uh, the valve positions okay so please remember uh, the gate walls or sluice walls are simply called as valve that opens by lifting a round or rectangular gate. Okay, rectangular gate, round or rectangular gate. Rectangular in the sense is your valve something like this. You have a valve. Okay. So that's what it is being mentioned. If you open uh, a particular gate wall and you can see the situations, uh, how it is. It is a valve that opens by lifting a round or rectangular gate or wedge out of the path of the fluid. So that you would have noticed based on your requirement, you can open and close. Okay. The second one is about check wall. The check wall is also a mechanical device, a valve that normally allows the fluid or uh, gas to flow in only one direction. So that's very simple. If you, uh, if you want to have a flow like this, it will allow, but return water it may not allow. That's the second one, check wall. Okay, check wall is also a valve that normally allows the fluid and predominantly in the case of water supply system this is only water to flow through only one direction one directions okay please make a note on it will allow uh, water in only one direction so okay, you can have a different dimensions of uh, check walls like this okay. third one is about uh, swing check wall okay so instead of uh, uh, check walls again a check uh, swing check wall is also a check wall in which the disc, the movable part to block the uh, flow, swings on a hinge or trunnion, and either onto a seat to block uh, reverse flow or off the seat to allow the forward flow. Okay, so instead of fixing in one position, it may be something like on fixed on a swing. Okay, so based on the requirement, it will also open and close. Something this is important. Please make a note of this. Is, okay, let me repeat again. Uh, swings check wall. This is again a check wall in which. Uh, the disc that is the mobile part of mobile part to block the flow swings on a hinge swings on a hinge that's what we have discussed okay swings on a hinge uh, either on to uh, the seat to block reverse flow or off the flow to allow the forward flow so please make a note on this something is the different differences so only here it is is uh, not fixed but here it is is uh, they are uh, uh, the portion of the disc is this, which is uh, swings on a hinge, swings on a hinge. Okay, uh, if you recall this a uh, hinge, and uh, it will swing. So based on your requirement of the flow, and uh, from uh, forward or reverse direction, it will also fix. And uh, next one is about til tilting disc check wall, tilting check, tilting disc check wall. Okay, here this also again uh, a swing check, the tilting uh, disc. Uh, keep the fluid resistance and turbulence low because of straight through design. So you just look into that. Okay. So instead of uh, you just make a difference on uh, this one. Okay. This one is is on uh, 
uh, swings on uh, like a particular hinge like this but here you can see uh, it is something like this okay. this is uh, if it is if you have a water with a pressure it will automatically tilt, uh, tilt the disc tilt the disc and allow the flow to get in okay so please make a note on that's a difference so only minor uh, differences in each and every mechanism all are all are otherwise is called as simply check walls check walls okay check walls if you have here the name you should remember it will allow only one direction of flow or it will not allow the return flow to get back to the system okay that's the only difference okay yes you can also have a lift check wall okay uh, lift check wall uh, that is also something okay if it is anything on with a considerable pressure then automatically this disk will uh, uh, shift one one particular position to other position okay that's something is important so the lift check wall is a check wall in which the disk sometimes called as a lift can be lifted off uh, its seat by higher pressure of the inlet upstream fluid please make a note on okay. initially maybe uh, initially maybe in a close position if the water with the higher uh, say example pressure it automatically lifts out this disk thereby water can be pass through a particular check wall is it okay okay you just make a difference on check wall and we are based on the mechanisms you have two or three different types is it okay yes sir yeah so please read out the definition check wall is a uh, lift check wall is also a check wall in which the disc sometimes called as is lift can be lifted up of its seat by high pressure of an inlet or upstream fluid to allow the outlet or uh, downstream side. Okay. If the sufficient pressure is there in the upstream, then automatically it will lift out and it will allow the water to flow. If sufficient pressure is not there, it will not allow the water to flow. Okay. That is something support. A lift check wall. Okay. Then uh, glow balls would have seen in the uh, if you want to regulate the water flow, if you want to regulate the water flow in a pipeline, then normally they may use these sort of uh, globe walls. Please make a note on. Uh, we would have seen in the uh, near, near the road sides and one chamber and might be inside and uh, this lever might not be there and waterman, say example, to regulate the flow, he'll come with a special tool and he'll open uh, and regulate the flow. You would have seen in uh, NIT campus also. Okay? You may have globe walls to regulate the flow here and there. And depending upon the requirement, the waterman will come and he will open the globe wall to uh, fill the water in the water tank. Water tanks are just distributed because normally in a city supply systems, they may go for uh, almost four hours or five hours or six hours in a day. And he will also regulate the flow depending upon the requirement. Okay, So please make a note on these are uh, globe walls. These are a device for regulating flow in the pipeline consisting of a mobile disk and a stationary ring. Uh, uh, which contains a spherical body, which contains a spherical body. Okay, so this is something that's important. Flow wall to regulate the water flow in the pipeline. Okay, and uh, uh, stop check wall again. Okay, uh, this also you you can have uh, uh, like the uh, combination of lift and globe walls. Please make a note down. You can have the definitions alone. It is enough. Okay, stop check walls is the combination of uh, lift check wall. And the globe wall, okay. And uh, so you can uh, have a look how the operations of uh, stop check walls also. And uh, you, based on the different dimensions and the seating arrangement of that particular disc, you have a different types, different types. And one example is about butterfly, butterfly check wall, okay. Something like one, it may have two different flaps, okay. Flap number, uh, it may have two flaps, butterfly check wall. Okay, which is a, which is designed in a flexible uh, ceiling member against the bore uh, at an angle of 45 degree. So please make a note on check walls, which may have a two different uh, uh, like the uh, flaps, something similar to a butterfly. So based on your, uh, say example, water velocity and pressure inside the pipeline, and this walls also operate based on your requirement. So just remember the butterfly check wall and the clapper wall and would have seen somewhere uh, like that's what the fire hydrants we have discussed in the class. Okay, fire hydrants normally uh, for a particular city, uh, city supply network systems or water supply network systems is being designed for uh, fire demand as well. 
Okay, so I think um, those who are familiar or uh, whatever we have discussed in the initial lectures for uh, water demand, city consumption or demand uh, included with the fire demand also. Okay, in the regular supply networks, you are in a position to uh, like uh, take a water if it is anything on the fire emergency. So vehicle will come, they will take a water and use it for uh, these applications. Okay, firefighting applications. Okay, so in that they may use. Uh, so why you this you may have a hydrant fire if I have fire hydrant okay and uh, you probably that accident might be in a bigger level so you may need uh, say example two three uh, two three vehicles uh, to fight against your fire firefighting uh, act activities so now you have to divide the flow for that you may need clapper wall please make a note on clapper wall it is also again a check wall uh, used for uh, firefighting. Gates open, only open uh, in the outflowing direction. Out outflowing direction. So please make a note on the clapper wall is being used for uh, firefighting applications. Firefighting applications. You can take or withdraw water from a fire hydrants. Fire hydrants. Okay. Yes. And you can have a piston check wall also. Okay. This is something instead of a uh, disc and opening, and you may have a pressure check walls. Okay. Something like this. Pressure check wall, and uh, this also again uh, one type of lift check wall only, and uh, it has it consists of a piston and a cylinder that prov provides a cushioning effect. That what you are seeing here, cushioning effect. Okay, so based on the uh, pressure inside the pipeline, this also automatically opens up and closes. Up. It will allow the water to pass. Okay, so it has a piston, piston and a cylinder. Okay, piston. And a cylinder, uh, piston, cylinder uh, that provides a cushioning effect. That provides a effect. Okay. And uh, piston walls can be used uh, in uh, in conjunction with globe as well as angle walls. And uh, 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 in a piping system, experiencing very frequent changes in the direction, changes in the direction of uh, flow. Okay. So please remember these points. In what situation you can use the different types of valves also it is necessary. Okay, so the piston check walls also it is similar kind of uh, lift check wall. Okay, lift check wall and based on the pressure it will automatically opens up. Okay, yes. next one is about angle angle wall that you would have seen in the household levels also angle wall. Uh, uh, that is uh, 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 angle wall. This is something similar to a butterfly wall. Uh, one of the family of valves called quarter turn walls that opens by turning a handle attached to a ball inside the valve. Okay, this also you would have noticed in the household level also. They may use either angle wall or, uh, or ball wall. Okay, yes. And these are air walls. Okay, sometimes this uh, normally the water in the pipeline with the higher velocity higher pressure and which contains uh, the pressure which is more than that of atmospheric pressure also. Sometimes it's outside the atmosphere. And uh, 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 like the if it is anything on uh, air to be released from the water supply networks, you can use air walls okay, to release air automatically uh, when the pipeline is, is filled and also to permit air to enter the pipeline when it is emptied. Okay, so please make a note on if you want to allow the air to get in or if you want to release the water uh, out of the pipe, then may, you may use uh, air walls. Okay, this also you would have noticed in uh, bigger pipelines. OK, so air walls is automatically uh, uh, like allow the water when air to escape. Uh, in the case of emptying, it will allow the air to get in. Otherwise, what will happen? It, there, there could be possibilities of air locks also, air locks inside the pipeline. OK, yeah. OK, next one is about uh, the uh, flow dividing walls. Sometimes uh, uh, like if you want to like uh, 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 divide the flow, uh, divide the flow in a particular uh, network. You can use uh, flow dividing walls. Okay, uh, specially designed valves at uh, a branch point to ensure that assigned flow in a distribution main is always is maintained. So please make a note on. Okay, because uh, if you want to ensure the uh, water to be distributed in a individual uh, branches, and you can use uh, flow dividing walls. It will allow only that particular amount of water to get into a pipe networks okay so flow dividing valves 
and uh, these are uh, maximum demand demand controllers maximum demand controllers okay so uh, this is it is also been connected to a automatic uh, scada system and it will allow only the uh, required flow so please make a note on it permits all flows up to a pre preset value and automatically assures when the flow exceeds this preset value thus preventing the excess withdrawals please make a note on that something is important because in the city networks it is somewhat difficult to go for a, a manual operations okay so they may use uh, these sort of automated system and they'll fix the values preset value uh, to regulate the flow or uh, to control the uh, like uh, flow in a particular network they may use these sort of controllers okay with the preset value and once it is been reached automatically it will automatically shut off it will not allow uh, excess withdrawal of water from a particular network okay so this is with uh, maximum demand demand controller and uh, air vent assembly that's i told you already okay for a vacuum relief you would have seen in uh, bigger networks on the uh, road sites okay sometimes uh, these these are tough valve and assemblies also been fixed in okay which is is for vacuum relief please make a note of it is for uh, uh, combination of air and uh, vacuum re re relief inside the pipe network okay inside the uh, pipe network vent assembly okay so this what they will fix uh, vent assembly and uh, i'm not sure about uh, when when or you just go out in a nearby a bigger network near to the bridges or something you can also look uh, locate these sort of structures okay or these sort of uh, devices air vent assembly okay air vent assembly to release air or Uh, vacuum conditions okay next one is about uh, riser uh, riser assembly and uh, the uh, the pipe which is attached the pipe which is which is attached to underground pipeline to deliver water to surface outlets or system valves okay this you can simply call it as riser valves so your network may be at the down maybe below the ground Uh, almost is 1 to 1.2 meters below the ground and if you want to lift the water or if you want to take out the water they may use riser assembly okay please make a note down so pipe attached to underground pipeline to deliver water to surface outlets or system valves are called as riser assembly and uh, sometimes because the riser assembly it is also been with a uh, chamber okay please make a note down the second point the chamber may be required at the base for a certain installations okay because uh, you would have noticed uh, these sort of structures also in near uh, uh, bigger pipe networks so water pipeline may be almost is 1 to 1.5 meter below the say example ground and if you want to take out the water they may use these sort of assembly riser assembly so this pipe this pipe that you can simply remember as is riser assembly and it is been encased in a chamber chamber okay riser assembly the last one is about uh, uh, drain assembly uh, drain assembly if you want to drain the water or empty the pipeline then they may use these sort of uh, mechanism drain assembly mechanism to drain the water in the pipe networks okay so uh, these are some of the uh, pipes and also accessories okay so not only pipe but pipe accessories also you would have uh, familiar with okay if you want to connect if you want to join and if you want to uh, uh, like place in a form place and they may use these sort of accessories so these clamps and all you would have seen okay clamps these and all you would have seen in the uh, household also small these are the these are the flanges and these are the different dimensions or diameters of in the hdp itself we could able to find different diameters of the pipe okay these are the flanges so these are some of the pipes and also accessories which is used in the public water supply system okay so these are some of the plumbing symbols but anyway now it is too early but probably we'll discuss in detail in the later portion of our last uh, uh, like in the uh, Uh, later portion of the syllabus or content we will discuss these so how to represent these pipe networks or pipe related uh, things in a drawing that is something is important okay so how to represent elbow how to represent uh, elbow el elbow turn up elbow elbow out outlet how to represent t how to uh, represent uh, t outlet down outlet up and uh, or how to represent a flange and how to represent a screw so these are drawings okay so plumbing drawings for any execution they may do these sort of drawings okay by seeing or looking these uh, symbols you are in a position to say 
what type of that plumbing materials or plumbing symbols is being used or type of valves, type of material or type of uh, accessories or type of uh, opportunities is being used in a particular network. OK, so with this we'll close uh, the pipe opportunities. Is it OK? OK, OK, so these are. Uh, so I, what I do is, is I'll request all of you to uh, copy the uh, name okay, and uh, browse it in Google. And either you can remember uh, by seeing the product okay, or just look into the videos of individuals. Let me also try, but otherwise is uh, because these are something is important. If you are happen to visit some of the uh, some uh, the uh, shops, hardware shops, you are in a position to say uh, this what I want or uh, at least that is enough for your better understanding in the water supply system series. What is ball wall? What is this gate wall? What is this riser assembly? And uh, what is this clapper wall? And what are the different uh, types of accessories is being used for water supply networks? That is more than sufficient for uh, your uh, better understanding with respect to your uh, uh, water supply uh, pipe appurtenances. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you.